I'm Nick Moore. Have you noticed how many new devices coming onto the market these days have USB-C as a video output? Whether they're the new generation of ultra-slim laptops or mobile phones or tablets, people are wanting to integrate these devices into their audiovisual systems. One method you could use to connect these new source devices to the AV system is by using a Kramer USB-C to HDMI cable. But now we're enabling you to use a USB-C to USB-C cable connected directly into the new Kramer VP424C and the VP426C. So both these devices take a USB-C input and an HDMI input, automatically switch between them and output to an HDMI output scaled up to 4K6444. And in addition, the VP426C has an analog computer VGA type input and will automatically switch between that. Now there are one or two other differences and we'll come to those in a minute. As you can see from the front panels, they're identical except for the fact that the VP426C has an LED indicator for the computer graphics PC input. From the left of the unit, we can see the on LED indicator, the input select button, which cycles through between the HDMI and USB-C inputs, and also, in the case of the VP426C, the Analog Computer Graphics PC input. We can then see the menu button and the menu control buttons, and then there is a USB port for firmware upgrade. Earlier we mentioned that there were other differences between the VP424C and the VP426C. And here you can see that the VP426C has an analog audio input on a 3.5mm jack. Now this is normally assigned to the HD15 input, but it can also be assigned to the digital inputs. And you can also see on the VP426C that there is an analog audio output which is de-embedded or carried through from the analog audio input. Both units have the USB-C input, HDMI input, HDMI output and remote control for source selection. Both units are powered by 5 volts DC. Due to the fact that the VP426C has additional circuitry to cope with the analog computer graphics input, you'll see that it's slightly deeper than the VP424C. So in this demonstration, we've got my laptop connected by HDMI and this mobile phone connected by USB-C and we're feeding into the VP424C and out on HDMI to the Panasonic 4K display. At the moment, my laptop is displaying to the screen and if I disconnect the HDMI from the VP424C, it'll automatically switch to the desktop of the phone. And when I plug the laptop back in, the VP424C will automatically switch back to it. We, of course, we've got an on-screen display for our menu. We can control various aspects about the picture, uh, what the source is, the output resolution, the length of time that the on-screen display appears. We have advanced settings which allow you to choose the auto switching type, for example, various bits of information about the device, the EDID information, and there are various factory settings. The VP426C works in exactly the same way as the VP424C. One thing to remember about the VP426C is because it has audio in and out, there's also an audio section in the menu. Both devices can turn on or off a CEC-enabled display when connected via the HDMI output. For more information on both these products and Kramer's range of switches and scalers, please visit our website. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.